<laughs> Celebrated as the biggest climate change investment the U.S. has ever seen. The Inflation Reduction Act invests $369 billion to fight global warming and supercharge clean energy with tax credits for going green. It's trying to affect climate change by investment and uh, incentives rather than by regulation. But some are criticizing the bill's concessions for fossil fuels made to get West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin on board, who has financial ties to the coal industry. If the federal government wants to build wind and solar on federal lands, they also have to offer hundreds of millions of acres of our oceans and lands to frack and drill uh, for oil and gas. Both Exxon and BP have praised the bill, which includes controversial carbon capture incentives that many climate activists say won't help in the short term. You know, climate scientists have been absolutely clear that in order to actually prevent climate catastrophe, we need to stop all new fossil fuel production now. Others say decarbonizing transportation and building infrastructure to support the widespread use of EVs will take time. The, uh, we shouldn't try to choke off domestic oil and gas supply before we get the demand up for, for the alternatives. Despite environmental compromises, some models show the new legislation will cut CO2 emissions by as much as 40 percent over the next seven years. Liz McLaughlin, WREL News.